No, when I, in 1985, I went to Rome uh, to the first international conference on human achondroplasia. Achondroplasia is the most common type of dwarfism. 7% of those babies used to die spontaneously because their brain stems were being compressed by bone at the base of the skull. When surgeons would go in and try to fix it, uh, a lot of times it was so tight that they would die or, or have real morbidity. And at this conference, the geneticists were talking about it. And it came my turn to talk. And I started describing a new technique we had developed to do this operation without hurting people. And they were enraged. They said, you surgeons think you can do anything. You're the ones who kill these patients. If you just leave them alone, only 7% of them will die. And they just went on and on. And you know, I came back to Baltimore. I continued doing the operation. People were complaining to the chairman of the department, the president of the hospital, the dean, the Maryland Medical Society, even got to the AMA. Uh, Carson's doing these outrageous things. By that time, I had done enough patients that we could expose the data, which demonstrated not a single one had died, and there weren't very many complications. And now it's become a standard technique. And what that showed me is that when you know that you're right, even though there's opposition, because people don't like to change. Uh, and people don't like to think about new ways of doing things. You have to be persistent, and most importantly, you have to relay, rely on data, on evidence, rather than on ideology. That is so important. Hi, this is Rayford L. Johnson, the author of Thug Mentality Exposed and founder and director of ThugExposed.org. I want to share with you why I wrote this book and also tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a former youth correctional counselor for the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation where the book takes center stage. Now I did that for 13 years working with 18 to 25 year old inmates and in this book, I'm going to share with you over 70 hard-hitting personal stories from these incarcerated individuals. You will hear their raw and honest stories from their own words, from a mixture of gang members, Satanists, pimps, 
drug dealers, honor students, and even pastors' kids. Third Mentality Exposed takes the reader to the ancient root of Third Mentality, traced all the way back to India's infamous and notorious Fergie tribe. Then it'll take the reader up to date to the current gang, street, and drug trends. In addition to having been a correctional counselor and now a certified gang specialist and life skills instructor, I've also been a photojournalist for over 28 years, freelancing for entertainment publications, celebrity award shows, and television entertainment outlets such as BET. Now in my journalistic investigations, I've uncovered some dark occultic things about the music industry, which I will expose in this book. And you also see them in the videos on our website. Such as how the entertainment and ad industry uses scientific and occult info and methods to manipulate and change an individual's belief system without the individual even knowing it. Other topics featured in this 360 page book are history of the occult, how music can influence behavior and music backmasking. Six, six, six. of drugs, women's attraction to the pimp mentality, the growing homosexual movement in the third culture, and much more. The book also has a life skills personal development segment, which has been utilized as curriculum by correctional, drug treatment, and youth programs across the country. Now, as far as the book reviews, you can go online and, and click under book reviews and you'll see many testimonials and reviews about the book. Uh, Ernest Roybal, the co-founder of the Mexican Mafia, states about the book, powerful. Nationally renowned gang specialist Mike Ramey says, as a college instructor on the subject of modern street gangs, I have been blessed and proud to use this book as a textbook for my course. First, it deals with the subject in an honest presentation. Second, it hits firmly on the spiritual side of the gang issue, which is a side that many have missed. Now you can click the link below and see the numerous testimonies from adult and juvenile inmates who have received the book free of charge through our ministry. You know, most of the information in this book you're not going to learn in college psychology classroom. You know, this book has been used as a textbook in college classrooms as a street, gang, and thug psychology book. I spent many years gathering this information through countless interviews and experiences in the trenches of one of the nation's most violent youth correctional facilities at that time. And that was N.A. Chidurgeon. Now you can click the link below to order the paperback or download an ebook instantly. Now please visit our website at thugexposed.org and watch our free videos. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. God bless you.